Today we're going to talk about how do I know when I'm a real developer. Donna asks, so when is it appropriate to think of yourself as a real developer? If you're being paid professionally to do this, you are actually a real developer. Whether you're in a junior role, sitting on a help desk, um, making a web page for a one-man band, um, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If they're paying you to be a developer, you're a real developer. They're paying you to do it. Um, what you're really thinking is, how can I be a real developer compared to the person in the queue beside me or the other person I look up to as this elite rock star? Um, and so what I would say is we all have phases in life and we all have different journeys and different paths that we're on. Do not think of yourself less if you're building Squarespace sites for somebody and you have 50 customers doing it and someone else is out there building the AI engine for Microsoft. Oh, he's real. I'm just out here doing Squarespace sites. No, both of you are real developers. Both of you are being paid to do something. So think of it like that. This is a tool and a skill that you can have to have a really good income, a really good lifestyle to build things for, for other people, companies, or services. So if you're being paid, you are a real developer. If you're not being paid, you're either on your learning journey or you're doing work for free. Start charging for that free work and start getting paid because you actually are a real developer. Good luck and keep coding. If you like that, I've put together five steps that you need to follow to get your first job as a software developer. Go to coderfriendly.com slash job roadmap. My team will be there to help you out as you get your first job as a software developer. And if you like this video, please subscribe and we can give you more great content just like this.